Moisturizer. Yo, what's up? How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to our picture slideshow channel on activities and on the river picture slideshow update. In today's episode, we are starting at Lindiwe's house when Lindiwe was scrolling the phone. When Bangizwe asked her, What is it? Lindiwe told Bangizwe that Quizzy sent her some photos that Zanota is getting ready for surgery. When Lindiwe said she's a strong legal one, Bangizwe just got out of bed without saying anything and moving to the prison. Rahadi was visiting Tuso in prison, asking him, what is going on? Did he really kill Angelina? Tuso told Rahadi that he doesn't want secrets anymore. And their family is a mess because of secrets. Rahadi asked Tuso what happened. Tuso asked Rahadi if she wants him to tell her what she wants to hear. Or she wants him to lie to her. Rahadi told Cobra that he's not a murderer. She said she doesn't mean that Angelina deserved to die. But she knew that Tuso had a reason to kill her. Because he was protecting the baby. Tuso told Rahadi to leave him. Because he wanted to face the law. Rahadi Rahadi kept telling Tuso that he's a good man and a good father. Cobra told Rahadi that if he was a good man, his wives wouldn't be dead. Now his wives are dead because of him. Rahadi told Cobra that he have done a lot of good things. She was begging Cobra not to punish himself like this. Cobra told Rahadi that if she wants to visit and try to persuade him, she better stop visiting him. Tuso left Rahadi and lied down, ignoring her. When Rahadi was trying to call him, Cobra ignored. And Going to the shoppers at the launch, they were still having a good time. When Kaniso told them that Dimpo is sending him some messages, and Shope told Kaniso that he should have brought her here as their honeymoon. When Kaniso told his family that Dimpo is the Duchess D, who seems like an international girl who deserves to visit Rome or Greece, because Shope told Kaniso that himself he loved Dimpo, but she shouldn't know their secrets. Kaniso told his father that he wouldn't make that mistake. Kaniso asked his father how are they going to handle that lobola for dimpo because now they are okay they need to go to mcguenas shope told kanyiso to hold that for now they will revisit them later quizzy told her brother that before they talk about the dowry she is thinking that instead of asking lindiwe for a job at kanyisa she should ask lindiwe to give her zolani's shares to zanotando the shoppers all praised quizzy for her thinking telling her that she's smart for thinking like that especially Actually, Nomaf was so proud of that, telling Kwezi that she is so smart and Lindiwe will agree because she loves Kwezi. And going straight to the tavern, they were all debating about Cobra and Angelina. When the guy told them that he knows Cobra is a little bit unpredictable sometimes, but to kill a person, they all say it's impossible. But Pago disagreed with that guy, telling him that a mad woman like Angelina could have turned anyone into a killer. Beauty disagreed with Pago, but Charlie agreed with Pago. Charlie said Angelina drove Paulina crazy then killed her. Beauty asked Charlie how does he know that? Beauty told Charlie that Angelina had a family who loved her. She didn't deserve to die, saying that she was a mother and a sister. Charlie and Paco disagreed with Beauty and that guy. When Charlie was telling them that woman kidnapped Cobra's son twice, they continued with their argument up until Beauty decided to leave them. And going to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house, detective was in the house asking them why did the Mukwena's call her, asking them how can she help them? Dimpo told the detective that it's about her brother's case, asking the detective how can they get him out of prison. The detective told Dimpo that her brother has confessed to murder. Dimpo told the detective that although Tuso confessed, but the detective didn't answer her question because that woman kidnapped Tato after stealing him from the hospital. Dimpo was angry, asking both of them where were the cops that time because the police were not there. Detective told Dimpo that she knows that she's going all through a difficult time but Tuso confessed and everything they found on the crime scene matches his statement because looking at that house are not there any signs because the person who could have helped them with more evidence unfortunately she's dead detective said her hands are tied moving to the shoppers at the lodge Kanyiso was talking to the lady who's working at the lodge telling her that they are sitting at the pool so they are ordering a champagne and some croissants as well as the platter he 
said he wanted some things that will help them relax. The lady told Ganiso that no problem, she will send a waiter to the pool. When Ganiso was leaving that lady, he didn't realize that he was being seen by Bangizwe's boys. Bangizwe's boys were sneaking behind them, trying to get a cab to take some photos, saying that the shoppers are living their life, thinking they are smart. Dumiso told Melusi to take out the phone and phone their father. Going to Cobra to Somukwena's house, Morena was standing by his house, putting a hoodie to cover his head when Rahadi came to him and told him not to try to hide his feelings. She told Morena that she knew that he lost someone that he saw as his mother. So it's okay to cry. Morena told Rahadi that he hates what she did to them as a family and he's also hurting that she's gone. He said he doesn't know what to do with the love he have for her. Rahadi continued telling Morena that no one will blame him for loving Angelina. Rahadi continued comforting Morena telling him he needs to be strong. Moving to the shoppers at the lodge. They were having a good time by the pool when Kwezi was coming with the baby, giving the baby to Nomafu. While they were still having a good time, they didn't realize that Bangizu's boys were busy taking their pictures. At that time, shoppers were having a good time. And at that time, Dumiso took out his phone and called his father, Bangizwe, telling him that he was right about the shoppers. They've got a proof right now. Telling his father that they will tell him more at the scrapyard. Bangizu's boys were talking to each other when Melusi was telling Dumiso that he is feeling so ashamed about this. And one of the guys who's working at the hotel asked them, what are they looking for? Dumiso and Melusi lied by telling the guy that they were busy looking for someone, but they are fine. So at that time, Bangizu's boys left the lodge. Going to Tusomukwena's house, Rahadi was sweeping with the broom on the floor when Flora came to join her, asking her friend, what is that that she hear about Tuso? Rahadi told Flora that it happened. Tuso was arrested yesterday. Flora asked Rahadi why didn't she call her as a friend. Rahadi told Flora that there was no time to think about that. She even haven't had the time to catch her breath. She told Flora that even when she woke up this morning, she had to remind herself that this is really happening. Flora told Rahadi that she understand that situation. When Rahadi feeling like she's letting her brother down, Flora encouraged her, telling her that she's doing a great job and she told her to stop blaming herself. Ever since this kid's parents passed away, she's been taking care of them, raising them. Going to Kanisa Diamond Mine, Lindywe was at her office when she received a phone call from Nomafu. Nomafu told Lindywe that everything went well with Zano Tando. She continued saying that the surgery went well. Lindywe told Nomafu that they thank God for everything. When Nomafu continued telling Lindywe that the God has really heard their prayers, she said that's why she thought she could quickly call Lindywe to give her the good news because Kwezi is resting for now. Lindywe told Nomafu that no problem. Nomafu told Lindywe that she will tell Kwezi to call her as soon as she wake up. Nomafu thanked Lindywe and told her that she appreciate everything that she did for them. And going back to prison, Dimpo was visiting her brother asking him how does he feel. Dimpo told her brother not to worry. She have some savings so that she will try to get a lawyer for him. She said she spoke to Ganiso and Ganiso told her that he will try to help them. Dimpo continued saying that for Moeti and the entire police force she will drag them all to court. Cobra told Dimpo that he doesn't want to be released. Dimpo got surprised to hear that when Cobra continued telling Dimpo that he deserved everything that is happening to him. So he deserved to be punished. When Cobra said he didn't expect that a girl from Soshanguvi could destroy his life like this. And moving back to Lindywe's house, Lindywe, Veronica, Flora and Andile were celebrating Zanotando's surgery that went well when they were pouring champagne raising their glasses and at that moment Bangizwe and Dumiso came in. Bangizwe asked Lindywe what are they celebrating. Lindywe told them all that they are celebrating because they've just received a call that says the baby is fine the surgery was successful. Bangizwe called Lindywe on the other side. Lindywe left them to talk to Bangizwe. When Bangizwe told Lindywe that there's something that he wants to show her. Bangizwe took out his cell phone and showed Lindywe the pictures of the shoppers telling her that 
that these photos were taken today at the Ngonyama Lodge in Pumalanga. Lindiwe was surprised asking Bangizwe that these are the shoppers. So in Pumalanga today how come? Bangizwe also showed Lindiwe the date that is today. Lindiwe with disbelief keep saying no. Lindiwe was surprised and shocked for what she saw on the picture. What action Madlabantu is gonna take against the shoppers from now? Let's see what's gonna happen on the next episode and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Sterizer TV teasers and please subscribe and hit the bell to be always updated about the latest TV updates.